Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, evening, whenever it is that you're watching this. Uh, I'm starting a live stream here on Twitch, and what I'm doing is basically going to work on some Reaper today. Um, I am getting ever so closer to finishing this piece, and it is driving me like crazy, like crazy. So I know I'm doing a lot of it, but it's because I'm getting so close to finishing that I feel like I just have to, I have to like just focus on this. Now, let me see if I can't, hold on, there we go, um, but I am trying to get this piece done. I mean, I could conceivably get it done as early as the end of, no, I couldn't get it done. March is my, I'm shooting for March basically. Um, I know there's no way that I can get this done any earlier, uh, unless it's the only thing that I stitch on. But for now, we're going to just work on it. And because I got up early this morning and I feel energized and ready to get things done today. So that includes not just stitching, but working on the blog. If you didn't know, I have a blog uh, called, well, it's, I, I want to say blog, but it's really just a website, um, stitchingjewels.com. There's a lot of resources for crafters on there. It's it's primarily just sort of a place where you can go to find fun things to do. Um, what I've been working on lately is uh, searching for patterns with similar themes. Like I put a, a theme together for like nurses, uh, nursing cross stitch patterns, um, hockey knitting patterns, uh, things like that. And um, so I'm kind of working on just it's I almost consider it like an aggregate service in terms of just pulling together some of the best um, patterns that are out there in different subjects. So I kind of want to get back to working on that today. I need to get some organization completed. I haven't been doing a lot on the blog and every so often I just like I get a bug and I just want to do it. And so, but good morning, King. Good morning. And I uh, hope you're doing good today. We're doing a very early morning stream here. Well, about an hour earlier than I normally do, but I'm kind of just, I'm, re I'm raring to go. Raring to go. I just, I'm trying to get my floss together here. I've got my, all my floss I'm trying to get. Here we go. All right. I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to. Get it all squared away. Alrighty. Hold the horses. Hold my horses. Hold on. Ah. Hmm. There we go. Find my favorite little needle here. Oh, hey guys. Thanks for the raid. Hama Designs. I'm in Denver, Colorado, guys. Good morning. Raid. Very cool. Thanks, guys. Welcome, welcome. It's a uh, cross stitch pattern by Pain Free Crafts. And uh, it's the Reaper. It's the Reaper. It's about 47,000 stitches, and I am 38,000 stitches into it. So, hey, Kim. Hey, Truffles. Very cool, very cool. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to work on a color here. But uh, thanks, Hama Designs. I appreciate the raid. That is awesome. Sweet. All right, now, way down here, let me see if I can get my camera a little bit better position for this. There we go. That's a little better. And I just got to figure out where I'm at. Where am I? Oh, I'm going to start way up here. Not way up here. I'm going to start up here. And six. And five up here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful morning. 
or afternoon or evening, wherever you're from. Two, three, four. All right, I want to start here. Good morning, Holder. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm feeling a little jealous of, of others to, well, a little jealous. So it snowed here the other day. It snowed here on Tuesday and snowed all day long. And I really wish that I had been home for that because I, I haven't been home during a good snowstorm in a while. And I miss that. I love that. It's pretty dry here in Colorado. So when you get something like that, it's just so nice. So nice. But my focus today is just on this lower chain that I got to finish up here. <clears throat> my voice sounds tinny. Is my, does my voice still sound tinny? Tinny? Morning, Daphne. I'm giggling because my voice sounds tinny. Does it sound, does it sound weird to anybody else? Does it sound weird? Mm, now I made a snag. Do, 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 do. Hi, honey. You getting ready to go? It's going to have a start for you. Oh, even better. Thank you. Thought I would just jump in and start my stream a little early. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Like an hour early. I know. I'm feeling I'm feeling the motivation bug today, so it's good. It's been a very busy, busy week in my world. In the last week, well, it's a busy period. It's always busy, but today I can focus. Okay, see you soon. And uh, my husband just stopped in to get dressed real quick, and he is running to the store this morning. And then he has the day off. He is running up to um, Estes Park today to go pick up some stuff for some family. Okay, I go take care of that, but he gets to go to Estes Park today. Now you might think, gosh, that sounds great. Why don't you go to Estes Park? Well, because I'd rather stay home and do this today. Because <laughs> I don't get to, I haven't been able to do this lately. Is it echoing? Oh, wait, is there an echo? Oh, I see, I see, hold on. How about that? Does that sound better? I have a double capture going on for some reason. The birdie's good. He is, uh, what's up there, Captain Chirpy Pants? Mick Chirpy Pants? He's over there preening himself. Is that better? Perfect. Okay, yeah, I had a double audio input. I'm back. Yeah, it's a good day to make great progress. That's for sure. That's for sure. Every day, every week, I work on this progress project. Blah, 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 I get closer. And I'm very happy about that. Extraordinarily happy about that. Let's see, where am I? Here. And I got to figure out exactly here. There we go. Super excited. Super excited. But I'm going to just relax the whole day. Don't have anything that I absolutely, and when I say relax, like I work on my blog and do some other things like that. That to me is relaxing. I really enjoy it. 
So getting to be able to do stuff on that is a lot of fun. Gosh, my stitching is not the best right now. Not looking all that great. It's like all like, it's like drunk stitching. I'll go down here and replace this one right here. Makes it a little better. I'm not the most technically proficient stitcher. I am a volume stitcher. And I am a stitcher that likes to stitch a lot. Stitch a lot. Nope, oh, I already got that done. Okay. Here's that. Do, 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 do. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, we're gonna go up here. Ish. Here ish. I'm going up here because this is the closest next part of the stitching I have to do. Husband's going to the store to get me cookies. It's been a very stressful. I guess he's stressful. I keep saying that. It's just been an overwhelming last couple weeks and I just need a break so let's get me some cookies C is for cookie it's good enough for me all right So I don't have any more in this little area, but I have a bunch over here that I need to do. So I'm going to tie this off way up high and grab my other piece that I've gotten set here. She is for cookie. You're at work right now. Don't tell your boss you're tuning in during work hours. I consider listening to stitching to be helpful in working. Keeps you calm, keeps you focused. But that's just me. I wish I could actually be like sometimes listen, be able to listen to something while I'm doing stuff <clears throat> at work and whatnot just for the distraction. It would be nice. So nice. This is for cookies. This one right here. Hey Pam, what is up? Thanks for the yeah, thanks guys. Thanks. Thanks, Rhino. Stitcher Rhino. Stitcher Hino. Stitcher. Makes you want to do something in grayscale? I got you. Yeah, I do a lot of monochrome, black and white, and then grayscale. Gosh, I came across a pattern on Etsy the other day, and I can't remember why I came across it, but I came across it and it was like, hey, look, monochrome. Now, you guys tell me if I'm wrong here, but the monochrome was grayscale, and it was like, there's like 10 different colors and I'm like, it's not monochrome, it's grace, it's grayscale. And so, I mean, monochrome is monochrome. It's one color. When I do get um, Reaper done and Rainy Waterloo done, I'm going to really focus on getting some of my own pieces really going really going. Hey, crazy, what's up? Ah, let me hit the camera here. Crash. Crash. Ish. Crash-ish. Oh, 
have I decided if I like using the hoop or the frame better yet? Oh, I absolutely like using a frame better. But there are projects that I can't use the frame on because they're just way too big. So um, to me, the frame is is faster. Two-handed stitching, two-handed stitching is a lot faster. But um, but there are like old world map two. I absolutely have to do in a hoop. I cannot put that in a in a frame. At least not that I'm happy with, and uh, at least not yet. Challenge accepted. But so that one, and then what else am I doing? Right now, I've also got my um, Lincoln Memorial piece on a on a hoop. But like, say, rainy waterloo place, like that's getting a lot. I'm getting a lot. I, I probably am almost twice as fast stitching when I do that. I almost wish in a way that I had kept track of how many stitches I did, like wrote it down before I switched over to the frame. But I gotta think that I'm getting a lot more stitching done now. It's easier to sit down and have a long stitching session where you can get like three, four, five hundred stitches done. It's a lot easier on a frame and focus is a lot easier on a frame. And it saves my hands too. I do notice that. It does, it is helpful in that regard. I'm good, crazy, thanks. Ah, oh, thanks, Holder. Yeah, zoo's been zoo's been rough, and there were a lot of there were some sleepless nights last week, which just was nuts. Oh, Daphne, yeah, now I'm seeing torn dress. Wow, that looks good. It's so pretty. I love how you're parking there. That's awesome. That's impressive. What kind of uh, fabric are you doing? That almost looks like either 18 count or, or linen in a way. 22.77%. Nice. God, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Did I see it? No. And so, but I just, I just saw it. Awesome. What day is today? The 28th? Oy. I am so bad. C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. Okay. Eighteen count Ada almost to the top right corner. Nice. Hey Coco. Oh, that is off. Oh, awesome, Daphne. I really, I, I can't even tell you. Like, it, I, that's the one thing. Like, I haven't really been able to get a lot of my own stuff done because I feel like I, I need to get these other projects. I can't just stop doing all these projects that I've been working on for so long. Um, so for you to get the that the line is done for me, and then this. Oh man, it's awesome. Thank you so much. You are the best. Pom, pam, pom. Pam's popping in for a quick minute. Cool, cool. What's up, Toffee? How's the frame on my back and neck? It feels pretty good. If I, um, it doesn't actually hurt my neck. Um, and if when I stream, I have to sit up a little bit just because I angle the frame more more even with the floor so I have to sit up a little bit more but it doesn't it doesn't really hurt it actually I think it helps strengthen me and um, so not too not too bad but no I, I don't think it really I don't notice I feel like it's worse with um, I mean it's absolutely worse with the with the hoop I think I have a tendency to really hunch over with the hoop
So with the frame, I could really kind of tuck myself in in my chair and get and get some uh, and get a good stitching session done. And I still am interested. Like someday, I hope to be able to sit in like a regular chair. And <laughs> sounds crazy. I hope I can sit one day in a chair. Um, but what I mean by that is like. Um, I have thoughts of moving this sometimes over. Well, not this. Okay, so not this frame, but like the this not the whole like floor frame, but the actual like um, bars and the 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 frame that. Ah, what do you call it? Well, it's the frame without the stand, and so I hope that at some point that I can actually uh, set it up maybe downstairs. Um, in this in the old stitchy chair but someday right now with the dogs some of the older dogs like that's not gonna work they won't leave me alone they will climb in the chair with me which is great but not great when you're trying to stitch and so all stitching is most stitching is done upstairs now got to protect got to protect the stitching this line here. There we go. It's absolutely doable to get this whole like this whole chunk down here done this week. Or really in the next couple of days. Um, absolutely possible. Just having the will. Oh, that's just cool, Daphne. Toffee's getting ready for school. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, Dutchie. Hello from the Netherlands. Scroll. Thank you. Thank you, Holder. Hey, Allie. Good morning. Ish, right here, ish. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. <sighs> but yep. It feels good to make progress. I mean, I feel like I've already made so much more progress just in really need to go back. I have to go back and look at my January videos from last year, but I'm pretty confident that I didn't get anywhere near as much stitching done as I've already done here this month. Pattern Keeper probably is the most helpful in terms of getting stuff stitched, followed right by the frame. Partial stitch there. So what are you guys up to today? What's going on? What are we doing? What are we stitching? What are we working on today? What is our focus today? Or it may be too early for focus, but five cats can't get any stitching done if you have us all in the same room. Yeah, I get you. Two cats and they could be sleeping peacefully on the sofa across the room. And the minute you pull out your cross stitch, it's like a magnet drawing them to you. Yeah, as soon as they know that you're like gonna sit in a place for a while, they're like, "Ooh yeah, let's go and let's go and get that taken. Let's go and get that taken. Let's go and um, oof, let's go sit on her, do it. All right, let me mark off. Ah. So 
So the goal will be, I think the goal should be 300 stitches during the stream, which I did last stream, I, or I came really close. 300 stitches will set me up for a good rest of the day. But the goal would be, if I get everything on the frame, like between the scroll rods, and I get my stitching space gets shrunk down to where it all fits, then what I just do is I just grab one color, and I just finish that color and stitch everything on it. Then I grab another color and stitch all those. That would be sort of my, my plan of attack for finishing. And I would hope that I could do that pretty quickly, but we'll see. Yes, for cookie. Man, now I'm like really wanting a cookie. It's a good thing my husband's getting me cookies today. And then he will be. I love my husband, but he will be leaving for about half the day, maybe more than half the day. And it will be my first, at minimum, like more than a couple of hours by myself in this house in months. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but I kind of need my alone time. I really do. I think it's a, <clears throat> it's a female thing. It's kind of a, ah. hey, Marina, thank you so much for following. Um, am I off? I think I'm off. Seven, eight. Nine. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that one. And I'm trying to come down here. Those are sevens. Oh, I did that already. Okay. Perfect. It's funny. Sometimes you just you're like, oh I didn't highlight that stitching. That's not good. But I'll get caught up. It's all good. Okay, I'm going to switch my color here. Ah. Fee is for cookie. It's good enough for me. So now that's 415. I wonder if there's a fair bit that I haven't highlighted. But no, I think I... Let me see. Maybe the one I'm going to be here. And then that's one that starts here. Okay, so it looks like I got some of that done, not all of it, and I've got some, I need to do some 415 here. I have one project where I'm almost done, but I have the outline to do, and it's been hard to get motivated to finish it. I get you, dude. I got you. You mean like outline? Do you mean like back stitching or like just the outside part of it? Oh, cool, Dutchie. Rainy Water Replace started it last weekend. You're going to make some quick progress on that. It's so easy to make quick progress on. That's awesome. Hey, Winian. Good morning. We say Filipino. Maganda Umaga? Don't know if I said that right. Love your new time. We're working on Teresa Kogut's land that I love sampler later today. Oh, that's awesome. That's that is a classic. You finished the catch yesterday, Belle. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Congratulations. Wow. That is really, that is really cool. Amazing. You post it in the Facebook group, I have to take a look at it. I'll take a look at it after the stream, I think. And so, why is my 415 all messed up? Hmm. 
19,199 stitches on 25 count. Oh my gosh. Good enough. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, and then I have more. I must have been using this for something else that I cut my floss shorter on it. Ah, here we go. All right. Here we go. Just getting some floss ready. So much tangling, so much tangling. Got so much tangling, I don't know what to do. All right, put that there, put that there. All right, I'm just trying to get this ready. I'm gonna put that extra piece there. I'm going to focus, get this bottom part done here. Okay. Somebody's bringing me cookies. <laughs> I hear the cookie monster. C is for cookie. Wow. Somebody got some gold star today. <laughs> Holy cow. You are the best. You're the best. Mm. Are you uh, heading out then? I'm heading out. Then. All right. Well, safe travels. Yeah, I'll text you. Okay. Love you, babe. Love me there. I'll text you when we get there. Okay. Be safe, babe. Love you. Love you. I'm a little jealous about the trip, but on the other hand, I also don't want to do it. <laughs> Let's see, I got that highlighted, but it needs to be this. It should have been Magandang Umaga. Injured your middle finger and is out of commission for the next 10 days. Well, that's not good. Do we want to know what you were doing with your middle finger that, were, that, were, that caused such an injury? Whew. Land that I love. She, that was a, that's a beautiful design. Such a classic cross stitch, but also such a meaningful cross stitch. So good. So, so good. Alright, so I'm getting the bottom stitches done. Yeah. It's hard when you're trying to stitch around the scroll rod. You have to kind of angle your stitches back a little bit. You can't go straight down like you normally do because the rod is, the rod comes to about here. It's not like about here on the other side. So I have to be a little creative in how I get the stitches in and out here. Talking of cat pieces, recently bought my sleeping cat. Oh, nice. You got the sleeping cat monochromatic design, but can't decide what to stitch with. I gotcha. Like, should you do what color or what kind of fabric? I want to do that one too. I really want to do that one because I think that one, my husband's going to want that one. And so. All right. So now we're just going to progress up. And absolutely, today we should be able to roll the frame up to get everything in one view. Oh, wow. You know, I, I've never seen anybody do that. Um, 
you could definitely use a beige fab fabric, dark brown. Um, you can use 844, you could use 3799. I use 310, but you could certainly, any of the dark um, colors, you could totally do. Totally. And variegated floss, I have no idea. See, that the, the only thing about that, I mean, that would that might make it like pop more um, because of um, um, the, the variation in color. Uh, look like a tabby kind of a thing, but that I don't know. Cut from broken glass while putting away dishes. Tumbler fell and I tried to catch it on reflex. Bad idea. I needed four. Oh, you needed four stitches. Oh, no, dude. That's not cool. Man. That stinks. I'm sorry you had to have stitches. That is terrible. I can't tell you how many times I've almost cut myself like that. Doing similar kind of things. Is it on the, the meaty part of your finger or it's on the back side? By the way, she's sleeping reminds me of my white tortoiseshell, so do I try and make her look like her using three to four different colors? That that the great thing about a monochromatic design is that it allows you to basically do that. Now the 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 problem with that is gonna be figuring out like what colors you need to put where. And that is beyond my skill level. <laughs> um, but that is something I've thought about that with other designs, like changing the colors um, on them. But, ah, snag. Snag. There we go. Um, so it, it would be neat no matter what you decide, because that sounds, those are great ideas. When I stitch it, I'm just going to do the plain black 310. Ronnie Rowe does 844. I don't, I, we talked about why he does it that way, but I can't remember what he said. Um, I think he just likes the look of it better. I just like the black. It's kind of classy. Seeds for Top third meaty. That's the one opposite the nail, right? Right there. Oh, that's the worst. I got to roll the scroll yesterday on land that I love. I'm at the top band now. It's my favorite part of the design, so you're excited. I think it will go fast now. That's awesome. That is cool. 
I was working on the gift story keep earlier in the week and made it made a major counting error. I had to frog the best part of 2,000 stitches. Ah, two days really work. I was really unimpressed. Uh, then spent the next three days restitching the section and adding more to it. Feeling better about it now, but I felt physically sick when you realized your error. Dude, you know, it's, uh, that is, yeah, we've all been there. I mean, that's just the worst. You know what I'm proud of, though? I'm proud of the fact that you just turned right around and, and you fixed it and you restitched it. Um, that is awesome because too many people will put that piece away because it makes them so upset. They'll put it away and they'll, and they'll just, sometimes it causes people to stop stitching it or it causes them to stop stitching it for a while. So good on you. Good on you. Which white do I prefer? Um, the color, like the floss color or the um, fabric color? Yeah, see, Coco says, yeah, you're well done for fixing it uh, and carrying on. I'm pretty sure I would have thrown it across the room in a huff and worked on something else to calm down. Exactly. Yeah, see, Yoon. Hey, Yoon! Um, would have just thrown it in the trash. Yeah, exactly. You must really love what you're working on, which is the most important part of stitching. You've got to love what you're working on, or you will, you will not, you got to love what you're working on. got to love what you stitch, stitch what you love. Doink, 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 doink. All right, I gotta figure this out here. What, pray tell? This is a, I can move this. So I am at, we're at here, and that's eight. And this, that's eight. Okay, now I see. Okay, so I stitched this one. This one, here, here, Here. Brilliant. Floss color of white. Gosh, I don't have like a, I mean, I really, if I'm going to stitch white, I'll usually go with white. <laughs> but I have, I actually have a bunch of whites right here. So I have some on bobbins and some not. So I have white and then I have 3865 and then where was 5200? What are you? All right, love you too, babe. See you later. Text you later. So that, that, and that. Um, if I'm going for pure white, I think 5200 is like the whitest, um, like colored white. To me, white and 3865 is really close. But I would probably say 5200 is, to me, the whitest. Bright white. Bright white. Smart husband. He's he's my husband's very smart. And he's been well trained. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> he's uh he's not trained. He just literally is just that good. So cause I don't really ask him to do very much. I just kind of, you know, when you get married late in life, you just kind of you're set in your ways and you're like, oh, this is how I'm gonna do things, and then he uh he's just kind and uh Sweet. Kind and sweet. And I'm a lovely man. Just a lovely man. All right.
I'm so mad at myself. Oh, wait, sorry. You're, you're that husband, not my husband. Uh, my husband kept a safe distance while I frogged. I have to frog right then even if I put it away afterwards. If I didn't do that and picked it up again with that sort of error, I'd never work on it again. Ah, gotcha. Long time, Yoon. That's right. Your husband is well-trained. Just stay away. All husbands are smart. All married husbands. All married hu All married husbands. The less smart husbands don't stay married. Or unhappy marriage. Unhappy wife. Okay, get this part stitched. Boom. Boom shakalaka laka. Boom shakalaka. All right, now it's over here. It's the next bit. So this is where it gets a little crazy trying to figure out exactly where I'm at. At 60, so here. Oh, I may have done that already. I just need to do this one right here. Otherwise, the rest of them are done. Nice. Nice. I'm going to have a little bit of a jump in stitches today because I'm going to, I know I'm going to find stuff that I've already stitched that I just haven't highlighted. And it goes both ways. Stuff that I've highlighted and I haven't stitched and i got to figure out what it is. Come here, you. Come here, you. I am like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Come here, you. There we go. All right. Good gracious. Ooh, I'm bending this favorite needle of mine. I need to find more of them. Cross my legs here. Oh, oh it's sweet. If they married y'all, it's proof they're smart. Oh, shucks. This. Um, yeah, it's not too much more to go there. So let me zoom in and see. I kind of want to do some darker color with this 317. That is, there's so much of that to do. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh yes, there is a lot of 317 to do. Let's pull it out here and see what we got going on. I just made a mess of 415 on the bobbin, but I will fix that later. Oh, that's three. That's 414. This is 317. 317. Alrighty then. Alright. Let's see how quiet everybody stays today because. Usually, 
in the past, they've always gone through these periods of being noisy, but they haven't really had a day where it's just me upstairs and hubby's gone. So we'll see how the dogs react to that over time. Alrighty, come on now. Come on, floss now. Gosh, giggly darn. You watch your phraseology. I'm going to get a massively long piece of floss here, so we're just going to cut it there. Put a rutler. I got my Harry Potter, my Hogwarts scissors. Hubby, I think this was like the first year we were together for Christmas. He gave that to me. Um, and I still use the scissors because gosh knows that I'm always losing scissors, finding scissors, losing scissors. Right. Just stream me from the TV to the TV from the phone. You can really see your stitches now. Oh, nice. Thanks, Holder. That's some fancy stuff now. Fancy stuff. Well, this is 18 count Ada. And so it's smaller than I normally like to work on stuff. I'm not usually that don't usually like to work on stuff that this that is this small but all right you and what time is it there is this late night for you bet you it's late night for you Or is it just evening? Evening. I'm going to get a little, uh, fill up my little thing of diet, Dr. Pepper, my addiction. I need to get some coffee sometime this morning, but I haven't done it yet. I want to just start with the good stuff. Oh, shit. Some sound love in there. So close to finishing the Reaper now. It looks great. How many more stitches do I have to go? Now I'm at, um, it's under 10,000. I think it's under 9,000. Yeah, it's under 9,000. It's like 8,700 or so. So we should be able to get under 8,000 to go this week. <clears throat> Meaning from now until next, next, well, now to the end of the weekend, we should be able to get there. We should be. It's kind of funny that this is like the project that got the most attention. I remember a year ago when I did my, my, uh, whatchamacallit, um, end of year review, beginning of year preview, I was like, I'm going to finish Reaper this year. And, well, circumstances being what they were, that, didn't, that hadn't happened, but it got a lot of attention. And now it's getting even more attention. It's funny how, like, for me, like, once you start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, you just kind of pour it on in terms of how much you, you put into it. Oh, your Millennium Frame shipped. It'll be here in a week. Nice. That's awesome. Do 
if do you think if the majority of the design is with darker threads, is it better to use a darker fabric? Is it full coverage? Because if it's full coverage, it doesn't matter. But if it's um, if the majority of the design is with darker thread, I think you got to go someplace in between. You want to choose a lighter fabric. Like I let's see, this is white, but like on boba, where's boba? On boba, I went with like a light gray. He's not a totally, he's not going to be totally full coverage. So I, for him, I went with like a light gray, blue gray kind of color to accentuate the colors I'm using in the pattern. And it's come out okay. <laughs> okay. I, that's a project that I need to probably finish before I would say it's good or not. Just because of my, my issues I've had with it. I've had some issues. You placed your order in October, so the wait has been hard. Yeah, I think it took me four months to get my uh, roller frame last year. And then it took me like another three months when I wanted to add more roller frames or more roller bars onto it. You have a Diet Coke addiction as you don't like tea or coffee. Super close. You'd be lying awake at night wanting to stitch it. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, you know, I got you. It's just part of it is I don't have... Yeah, I've got so many things that pull me from one place to another. Why am I way down here? Oh, because I grabbed the wrong piece. <laughs> Grab the wrong piece of thread underneath. I, I will probably get, when I get down to like under 5,000 stitches, like I probably will go a little nuts on this and finish it faster. But we'll see. We shall see. Because there's a lot of black. There's a lot of certain colors to, uh, to still to stitch. So... When I'm doing just those, it will be, I probably will go a little nuts at that point. Still have 500 plus stitches with 317 to go, so that's a fair bit. That's a fur piece. great when we get this bottom section done. I'm glad I waited to the end to do the um, the face. I think it just pops more. It was hard though to kind of go all the way around it. Like to, to stitch all the way around without coming back to it. Oh, thanks dude. I missed it. I'm just sitting here chatting. Goodbye. You finally beat your Diet Coke addiction a couple years ago. It's a hard one. You drink probably six or seven cans a day and couldn't go anywhere without shopping for a fountain drink. Yeah, I know, right? I know. I feel the same way. I'd love it if I just drank water. But I'm not ready to go with that addiction yet. Not quite ready. 
Hey, from work, Sharon. What's up? Hey, Sharon, how much stitching did you get done in that, that wonderful long-term vacation that you had there? The multi-week vacation with this, the stitching vacation. Stitchcation. I'm from the UK, so I'm hoping it won't be too bad, but from my understanding, they're made by a single person. We are so tightly locked on here at the moment with no going out, unless for exercise or essential food shopping. It makes job hunting a challenge, but does allow for more stitching. Oh, man, dude. Uh, yeah, all the frames are usually made by one person, I believe, and that's especially true with the roller frames. So it does take a while with the, the volume that they have to put out. So I totally get it. I totally get it. It's just... I just love them. I love them so much. Um, hold on a second. Let me stitch this one. But locked down. That's just crazy. Uh, we were never really... I think in April last year, we went to a rotating schedule um, where we had... Um, like, I got a little bit of time off here and there, and that was nice. But it was stressful too because just you know the not knowing and how's the business doing and just all these different things and um with uh but right i could totally use i think i'm gonna i think we're gonna take a little time off here in february um we're gonna cut back a little well if we can a little bit i don't know we may not we may just hit continue going full force because we need to but Got a lot done. Not sure how much, though. And got some extra done over this last weekend. Ended up with two snow days. Oh, man! Jealous! Jealous! You've been at your job for seven years now and graduated up from two? Hit send too early. The vax can't come fast enough. People 70 and up are getting their shots over here, and I'm waiting when they roll down to the 30s. I gotcha. Apparently going to be locked down until at least March. We've been already locked down through Christmas and New Year. Good thing I'm not a social butterfly, but really miss my bestie. Zoom chat is not the same. Oh, you graduated from two weeks to three weeks of vacation this year. Yeah, woo -hoo -hoo. That's awesome. That's cool. I um, We're totally shocked about the snow days. Push the start of the semester back two days. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, why have snow days when... Can't you just Zoom everybody from home? That the same thing happened here, like at one point where we had snow days, and it happened on a Monday or something where the teachers. It was like the one day the teachers had to, to go into school <clears throat> to um, to organize different things, and so that's why they they canceled it because they just had the teachers just say teachers don't come in. Teachers don't come. There we go. 
Nice. Ah! No, I did not pull it through. Thought I pulled it through for a second there. We actually got a bit of snow in the UK. It was gone by the next morning in my area, but other parts of the UK still have it. It's really unusual to get snow here, but I love it. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I saw a blog. Um, a guy who lives in um, in London, and he did a, a like a walkabout um, in, in London, which was interesting because there's hardly... I'm, I'm not sure how he got to go out and do that, but there was hardly anybody out, and he's just walking around in the snow in front of all these places, and um, I think it's awesome. Totally awesome. Um, it's so weird that you guys don't get snow. Why do you, why, why do you not get snow? You're so. Is it the, is it the warm air currents from like the the seas or something? Because it would, I don't know why it makes sense to me that you would get a lot of snow. Because it's always a little cooler there. Get this stage. And get this stage. It is like gotten cold again up here. I think the heat turned off. Guys, something something changed with the, the heat in the house. I don't know what it was. I must have opened some registers someplace that diverts the heat from coming all the way upstairs. Or it could be that we need to clean the filter. That's very possible with all the dogs in our house. And there. There. I'm already over 100 stitches. 116 to be exact. Nice. Need some more 317. Come here, 317. Ooh, yeah, so there's a chill in the house all of a sudden. I don't like that. I don't like it when I feel a chill. Let me see where my husband's at. Make sure he's driving. Sometimes I get, I feel weird. Do, 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 do. Oh, he must have stopped and got, and got gas. He's going 67 miles an hour, which is, which is nice. Oh, he's he's merging onto the highway. Oh, he's going 470. Oh, okay. He's going all the way around. Nice. He's going to go to Golden. Nice. Oh, he's going to have a good day with lots of pretty pictures. All right. All righty. So where am I? Uh, Pattern Keeper. That's where I'm at. Here we go. I got distracted by the news for a second. Started reading about football. Although I'm not watching the Super Bowl, not watching the Super Bowl, can't, I just, I, I can't do it. I just don't want to watch Tom Brady win another Super Bowl, even though I think the Chiefs probably would win. It's just annoying. You're in central Texas, and they close down everything when snow and freezing weather happens. But of course, it's probably a good thing because we don't know how to drive and that stuff down here. Exactly. Not sure, but the north gets it fairly often. Uh, north U UK gets it fairly often. The southeast, where you are, hardly ever. Gotcha. All the Christmas Carol movies have snow. That is true. Probably fake filmed in the UK. <laughs> yeah. The Bernie thing. It's just, he was at the inauguration. He was like all bundled up. Um, you know, it's like the typical kind of like, I'm just going to sit here and do my thing and wrap myself up in a blanket and mittens. And I'm surprised he didn't wear a hat. And so, but I think that's, um, it's disrespectful during an inauguration or something. But I, uh, that's funny because I, te I tease my husband because I'm like, well, that's how he dresses inside. 
And so he's all bundled up and super warm. It's just a meme. It's just a meme. Let's see as real quickly. It's a New England thing, practical. Well, there you go. Never watched the Super Bowl. Puppy Bowl, on the other hand. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I likely will just be stitching or something along those lines. Working on something. Let's see here. 60, 70. Is this it? Hold on. Yes. Right there. Booyah. Now I'm going to stop for you. <laughs> You've been seeing him everywhere? Yeah. Oh. All right, guys. I'm breaking into the cookies. Anybody want one? Got the rainbow chips deluxe. I'll try not to chomp on them. But I'm, I'm a little hungry. I, I'm addicted to these. I will eat this whole thing today. I guarantee. I guarantee. Those sort of like the fake M&Ms. Yeah, I'll try not to be too loud when I eat them. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now, the fact that Bernie has embraced popularity has been using it to help raise money for Meals on Wheels. There's a crocheter who has made a Bernie doll, put it up on eBay to raise money for Meals on Wheels, too. And eBay matched the winning bid, so there's another 40000 Nice! That's cool. How do I end my strands? Oh, yeah. I just, yeah. I just, um, hold on. Mm, needle. Needle. So I, I don't I don't want to keep doing it this way, but I, I say this every week. Oh yeah, I need to learn how to pin stitch end my stuff. So I just I'll put it in there and then I'll just then I'll just tuck it under something. So that's how I do it. I usually have to get a larger needle to do it because the ends are so uneven. Do I have a larger needle up here? Oh I do. Yeah, that, uh, we talked a little bit about this, but if you guys weren't in my stream the other day, there was um, um, when the when Baltimore Ravens played the Buffalo Bills, the quarterback got um, hurt for Baltimore and had to leave the game and and couldn't finish the game, and so the Buffalo fans were like, "Hey, you know, respect. Sorry, you got hurt. That stinks." Uh, hey, what's his favorite charity? Hey, everybody donate to his favorite charity. And it was like these backpacks for kids um, to help feed them, to help like school age kids get meals on the weekends when, when schools were closed. And crazy people raised like $300,000 in like two days or something ridiculous. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Let me scoot this. Can I scoot this back? Scoot this back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. With my scissors. There we go. See us for cookies, baby, not for me. And then sometimes I have to trim the edges because I can't re-thread them. That's another reason to finish with a pin stitch. Yeah, 
and I just try to find a, a loose spot that I can, not a loose, but a spot that I can handily tuck them in there, tuck them away. That's really short. Have to go to the shops for food, but putting it off. Wearing clothes is hard. You love your pajamas. Ah, I get you, dude. I'm in my pajamas all day long. At least I hope so. We'll see. I might not be. We'll see. Okay. It is nice to get a bunch of these like tucked in so that so that I can clean up the front a bit. Love the I always end my stitches by sliding the last piece under several under stitches. Yep. Just gotta flip it over though. With this, I just end up, and it's a it's a way that I can kind of track, make you know, see like how much progress I'm making. Because if I once I get this filled, and then I end up like once I get all the strands um, tucked underneath, um, I start fresh, and then I can see like how much I don't know. It's a, it's a kind of visual. It's a weird visual cue for me to know exactly like how much I'm getting done. Hey, look your thread and do it that way. Yep. Old fashioned. And sometimes I'll take two that are really close together and I'll kind of try to put them together a little bit. That one's got a short thread there, so I gotta put that back a bit. High tech, man. When we, when we use frames and pattern keeper and then it boils back down to licking the thread and trying to get it on the needle. Sometimes they, when they, when they get pulled through, they actually are tucked somehow already. I don't mean to do it, but it just sometimes happens. As I like, as I stitch more, you know, I stitch and I pull up the floss away, and then I end up stitching over it, so it gets sort of naturally tucked in, which is really nice. Look like I kind of park them above and then flip over and do a bunch at once, versus flipping over every strand. Yep. Yeah, I suppose if there's any kind of parking that I do, it would be this. But yeah, no, I don't flip over every strand. I just try and get it out of the way. It's so much easier just to get it out of the way. Come here, you. You guys a mess. You guys a mess. There we go. Ah. 
Nice. Perfect. Now you watch, I won't have every single one done. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Usually I always have one or two left over that I didn't realize that I had, had not finished. All right, let me try and figure out how to get my this thing straight here. There we go. Ish. Ish. Let's see here. There's... It was so hard to put on real clothes today <laughs> after the weekend. After the long weekend and me working from home yesterday, it's cold out. I don't like going out and walking to work when the windshield just blows zero. I can understand that. You have not mastered the pin stitch, but you love the loop start. There you go. Yeah, I guess I do the loop start is really what I do. My kid always starts crying when we change her into preschool uniform, but I think it's for more different reasons. Yeah. Loop finish. That's that's what I need to do. A loop finish, not a pin finish. I don't help myself as I love to play thread chicken as I hate wastage and I use it down to the last couple of centimeters. <laughs> nice. Used to flip over to start a thread, even using the loop method until I was watching someone and saw you could do that from the top. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's what I learned. Time to sign off. Hot lunch date with your hubby today. All right. We'll see you later, Truffles. Have a good one. Okay, for a loop finish, you make a half cross stitch, come up in the third hole, go back down and leave a loop, and come up in four through the loop and back down in three. It sounds like it's the reverse of, of starting with a loop. You can post a link on Facebook. Thank you. I can use my thread until I have just an inch left or less than I try to secure it. My mom will ask me to do something, and I'm like, I'm just a moment. I have a short string. <laughs> nice. Nice. Let's see here. Tried to eat a cookie soundly there. I don't think it worked. Oh, I found some more stitches. Nope, nope, nope. I've done those. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Oh, that's good. I, I'm glad to hear that, Holder. I've learned a lot from the streams, too. We collect our knowledge. It's a collective knowledge is what it is. I love it. Collective knowledge. Oh, it's quiet in the house. So nice. It just feels so different. I just, 
Oh. I just like it. I'm not a bad person for saying that. <laughs> saying that I'm glad my husband's out of the house. I'm not. It's It's been a long... It was a long 2020. When I finish Rainy Waterloo Place, am I going to do some more on Pop Curry Shop? Absolutely. That's what is going to be put into its place is um, Apothecary Shop. And so, because it's about, I think it's about the same width. I think it's about the same size, period. So um, the goal would be to actually start at the top and then just go all the way across the top first and then pick my way back and forth across it. I think that would be the most economical way of making progress on it. But yeah, that, that will go on those that frame once Rainy Waterloo is done. This one will probably be replaced by, well, I don't know for sure. Maybe one of my own. It's got to be smaller. I'll have to see. I'll have to see what I'm doing. I haven't. I've, I've thought about it, and then I keep changing my mind. So. Missing a few. Nope, I did those. Okay. Oh, all right, let me let me mark off some stuff here. There we go. Am I still working on the men on a girder design? Yes, I just haven't gotten very far on it. Um, I'm not, it's behind me. I thought about using it, working on it today, but. You can't quite see what it is yet. I can tell what it is because I'm looking at it, but I mean, because I'm looking at it because I know what it's supposed to look like, but that needs a bunch more progress done on it. With the new frame, that would probably be the easiest way to work. Absolutely. On the pop carry shop. Absolutely. Could definitely, I'm in a confetti area right now of, of um, um, apothecary shop. So on the, um, on a hoop, it's just, it just seems like it takes forever.
too crazy about it. I also might have stitched properly. It's hard to know sometimes. Hey Anna, good morning. Or is it Anna? I always say Anna, I think, but I think it's Anna. You can make out two faces coming along. Nice, thank you. Yep. I need to sit down with that and just stitch. Grab my spool of my great big cone of 310 and just go crazy. Hey Stormy, thanks so much for following. You're welcome. Let's see, I'm gonna go back and then we'll go down and catch these last two stitches that are over here. I think. Come here, tuck, tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck. Ah. Pull. That's so funny when you pull like one, one piece of floss out of your needle, just one. Let me do this. Just so quiet. There we go. There. And let's see. Where am I down here? Where am I? Mm, I have a feeling I'm missing, I'm missing this stitch here and there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we have that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, there's a stitch here. Ah, okay. I'm going to be down to the last little bit on this baby. It's a bit of flouse. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, I didn't get pulled through. Oh, well. Oh, it'll be okay. All right. Yeah, there's still quite a lot of this 317 to go. All right. I know I stitched this part. So I'm going to get rid of this. There we go. Did I knock you on the floor 317? What happened?
I'm trying to get my Darth Vader project finished, but I'm using three strands of 310 for most of it. And wow, it's eating thread, and it's a lot of black. It's coming along. Wow. I have a couple of projects I'm trying to focus on finishing this year. I have Crafter ADHD. Welcome. Welcome to the club. But I have a big work project that I'm needing to spend extra time on off hours, so less crafting time for me for the next month or so. Yep. I know how that goes. I know how that goes. Do it when you can until you can do more. Can't believe I did 1,500 stitches last week. I only did about 500. Oh, you know, when I put my mind to it, I can do a bunch, but, you know, I wish every week was like that. I'm weird with confetti. Sometimes I hate it and what it all costs. And other times I love to finish off sections by doing the odd stitches, right? Sometimes you just have to, you know, like, I'll gather, like, especially with Old World Map 2, I'll just gather, like, a big handful of confetti colors and put them down and then just go through all those colors and just, you know, because it has to be done. So... That's how I do it. This is how you do it. Hmm. Now I gotta figure out exactly where I'm at. Okay, so. Okay, I am. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Nice. I'll be able to easily finish in the 413 because that's all 413 all the way down. That'll be easy to, to find and stitch. Nice. I'm doing better. I'm having a good day today. It's pretty early in the morning. I started really early streaming this morning because I woke up motivated. It's been a, it's been a month. <laughs> it's been a crazy month and uh, it kind of fits with 2020, but doing all right. Feeling good today. Feeling, you know, feeling like I want to do, do a lot of stuff today, which is great. Waking up motivated is a wonderful feeling. And I didn't get a lot of sleep last week, but I made up for it. So it's good stuff. Where do you buy DMC on the cone? I You can just Google it and find it. I bought mine directly from DMC. They have a lot of variety of uh, that. There are some of the bigger cross-stitch supply stores that will sell it. Um, and you can always actually just order one from a, um, a cross-stitch, like a needle workshop. They can, they can order something for you if you don't want to deal with the shipping and ordering and everything. But... Um, but you can order it directly from DMC. And it's it's going to be very awesome. Or it has already been very awesome for me with my, um, whatchamacallits, uh, with my monochrome pieces. It's very helpful. Oh, one, two, three, stitch, carry some cones. I think that's where I got my 
Well, I think that's where I looked for my first cone and they were out of stock. So it's hard to find them sometimes. You can search around and sometimes you have to look for them for a little bit. I'm going to sneeze. Thank you. Oh, oh. Cat hair flying everywhere. Good gracious. Whew. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, just posted a link to the loop finish on the Facebook group. It's a single strand on 25 count. It also works with two strands. Nice. Hey, Val. Thank you. Thank you guys. Hey, Lori. Nice. Well, I use I use a single strand for the loop, so that would be cool. That would be very cool. I'm gonna check that out. Go check that out. Now I just gotta figure out exactly where I'm at here. Aha! I have found it. I have you now. Do you realize you can hear me sneeze all the way over in Europe? That's a heck of a sneeze. That is a heck of a sneeze. My sneezes go around the world. Around the world. Not that I'm happy about that. I don't want to spread anything. Now I probably ought to have I probably ought to set my air filter back up in this room. I've not had it on for the longest time. I don't even know where it's at, to be honest with you. Um but I should put it in this room because between the the cat hair, the cat litter box, the bird dander, and then the dog running in and out all the time, there's a lot of stuff probably floating in this air. All right. Must go to the shops. You cannot put it off any longer. Hope to be back before I finish streaming, but if not, stay safe. Love and hugs. Right back at you, crazy. You be safe now going out to the store, okay? We'll catch you later. Hey, Lucy. What is up? Do 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 was pretty bad. Let me do that right. I think I clo I literally closed my eyes when I did that stitch. That's bad. That's so bad. Better. I'll fix it later. I'll fix it later. Come down here. This stitch. And this one. Oh, I'm almost getting the point where you guys can't even see what I'm doing here. Let me scoot this up a little bit. There we go. Move this over. Let me wipe this off. 
172. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see here. I'll pull this over here a second. Oh yeah. Still got play to go up and work on. Nice. Okay. I just gotta figure out what I just did. <laughs> Hey, Little Red Riding Hood. No, it's okay. It's okay. You're doing well. We all make... We, I can't even talk. Half the time I can't even talk. It's all good. All right, where am I? Where am I at? What am I doing? Where am I going? So this one, let me see. Okay, all right, I see now. I, I prematurely highlight, uh, highlighted I think I may have to give myself another haircut here soon. I'm doing a terrible job, by the way. It's not looking great, but it needs I need to trim it up some to make it look better. It's getting a little long. I think at some point I'll go in and I'll be like, all right, clean my hair up. Like maybe this summer or something, I'll be able to clean my hair up. And then I may just stick with the whole, like maybe I'll just get one haircut from a professional year. I hate going in for haircuts. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And so, it's like almost as bad as the doctor and the dentist for me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I need I need you know I need coffee. I need hot chocolate is what I need. Oh that was my hip popping. That's a pretty loud pop. Pop 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 Alright. And then I got this. That is the same color. Sometimes go years between professional haircuts. <laughs> Not a fan. I just you know, if I could go in there and then just have them not talk to me, I suppose I could tell them don't talk to me. I don't like making small talk. <laughs> that sounds funny, though, because some of what we do here is small talk. But this is different. You know, we're talking about stuff we love. And so everybody always is like, you know, so what do you do for work? And then I tell them, and then they're like, then I hear the same stories <laughs> I always hear. I like to be anonymous. Anonymous. Hubby trims your hair never again. No one is perfect in everything. That is right.
he won't let me trim his hair. Uh, and he doesn't hardly have any hair. So it's like, let me just drive one to mess with it. I mean, not that I'm trying to like make it like stylish or anything, but I figure I can make it, you know, even all the way around. But alas, we're set in our ways. We're not set in our ways, but we like how things, how we do things. Five bucks says hubby will stop and pick up some apple cider on the way back home because usually he likes his apple cider. I hope he stops and gets some. He needs to. He would enjoy it from this like apple farm, apple tree farm. Is that what they call them? Apple tree farms? I don't know why that just seems weird to me all of a sudden. Apple orchard. Thank you. Good gracious. That's a, that's a way better term for it. I can see the Craig Craigslist tag now in search of hairstylists that cross stitches. There you go. I always bring up my kids or my crafts when I get to go to get my hair cut. Most people like to hear about cross stitching and sometimes have the same hobbies or like that. There you go. Or like the idea. You cut your hubby's hair for years and years. He's totally untrained as a hairstylist because he didn't trust anyone else to do it. I asked him to give me a trim just once and he was so petrified he refused to do it. Aww. So I'm like way uneven. I've got a lot done on here and I don't have, I have this big space up here I gotta fill in. It's just more natural going left to right, I suppose. You get your hair cut at Disney. They just trim the ends and put pixie dust in your hair. Cheaper than hair cuttery. Oh, that's crazy. But not as much as it was in the beginning. I need like a space here or something up here. No, I just need to turn the heat up in the house, I think. I think the natural temperature during the day is like low 60s. And that is not enough for me when I'm home. Even though I'm wearing like three layers on top and thick hiking socks, I'm still cold. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm drinking a drink with ice. I know, I know. that sound? Somebody's making some moaning sounds. It's 
probably jelly. Oh, that's Topher. They just decide they're gonna start howling because they're all by them lonesome. That's very sad. We'll let them go for a minute, get some of that out. I know they hear me. So sad. Children. My crazy children. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta put it into this. Topher! A second passed. <laughs> oh, brother. Your high here tomorrow is supposed to be around 18 degrees. Oh, chilly. Very chilly. You're having someone else... You hate having someone else wash your hair. It hurts because you have a sense of the scalp. Oh, I actually like that. Oh. I like that a lot. Is the cookies good enough for you? There we go. Focusing on this little block here, it's a little harder to do because I don't have as much stitched on it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> You boys can hear my crew. They're looking around to see what's wrong. They're very confused. Yep. That's my kids. And all it takes is to say something to the ringleader. One word. Just their name. And then they go quiet. They're like, where is she? What's going on? We've discovered that the cat has been trying to beat Binky up this past week, which I don't appreciate. So I'm trying to catch him in the act whenever he goes to do it. Not that he'll listen to me, because he's a cat, but... Binky's been particularly snuggly with me at night this week. It's kind of adorable. Reaper's looking so good right now. Remember seeing when you had just a small little square done on your YouTube, right? When I started on the upper left. And then for forever, it was like I went down, I went down the upper left. And then I started going across. It just took forever to get all that done. Not now. Nope. No sorry, Bob. Now 
Now it's been a, been quite a while since I've gotten a large piece done. I'm trying to think of even like what large piece would I have gotten done on stream? Like a full coverage type large piece. It's been a long time. A very long time. Go down here, I think. I think. I think. Yeah. Here. Here. Your dog Blue was very interested in what was going on where dogs were barking. Yep. Over here or down here? How much do I have left? Hmm. Let me go up here. There. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough to finish. That's okay. I don't think so. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'll have a few stitches down here missing, but that's okay. Or, hold on. Hmm. What I'll do is I'll come down here and I'll do this one and then this one, and then I'll tie, I'll tuck it in. I got that one off a little bit. I'll tuck it in a little bit and then I'll start my next stitch below it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> All right, so because I left that there, I know there is where I need to go next. Sweet. That was my frame that just made that noise. It's not like a little tiny bark from below, which there is a dog down here, so. There. And then we'll finish up these halves. Yeah, see, it's a nice little pathway back into the rest of the piece here. Nice. And then... I gotta do that one. I gotta do 
do that. This one, this, then this one. Yeah, I get there. Okay, very cool. All right, now I'm trucking up this piece. Nice. All the way up there. So let me highlight all this. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. Now I'm at two twenty seven. Zooming right along today? Yeah, baby. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So the new floors are, are really, really nice. We have to say that um, it's it's been very comfortable. Very, It looks great. Um, we're very happy with it. It's very cool. I mean, you can see. Ah, no, you can't. You could see, but now you can't. Um, like that's stitching, that's stitched. So there's a little bit through here, a little bit of light stitching, a little bit through there. But I think definitely once I get like up to like the bottom chin part, I can definitely roll this this sucker down. I can roll this sucker down. Have I ever tried lash hook rug? They're kind of fun. Doing one of the rows. My friend wants it, but I'm only a fourth of the way to finish it. But they do go fast to do them. My father-in-law does those. Um, he really he used to do them when he was younger, and he has done them. Well, we've actually started getting him various kits to do um, to kind of keep him uh, keep his hands moving and um, make him, you know, kind of just keep him active in that way. And so he really enjoys them. Uh, I think for me, latch hook would be a little too large. And good golly, do I not need another hobby? <laughs> oh man, I uh, I'm sort of all hobbied up right now.
This and this. Your bed is being delivered from 10.15 to 2 o'clock. What size sheets is 39 by 75? I don't know. What is that, guys? Twin. Do you hear Hobby Lobby is ending their 40% coupon? Hope they have more really good sales and or lower prices. Huh, nope, hadn't heard that. I hadn't been there in a while. Really not a good sign though if they've been doing something for quite a while. They either think they're either they can't afford it or they don't think they need it. I'd be willing to bet they can't afford it in this economy. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh. Well, I think I'm going to call it a day, kids, at least for the stream. Um, I got a lot of stitching done. 248 stitches today, so almost to my goal of 300. Um, but i um, feeling the need to get up and move around a little bit, go see what the dogs are doing and kind of go from there. Oh, there you go. It shows. <laughs> XL twin. There you go. Yeah. I hope everybody has a great stitchy week and, uh, Pull this back a little bit. It's getting so close. I mean, I've kind of got the top down pretty much, but that is the edge of the scroll rod right there where it's wrapped up. So I really need to bring it down like another solid inch. So I should be able to do that finishing this part up today, tomorrow, whenever we do it. So that'll be good. Until Sunday. That's right. Yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day as well. Good luck with the bed delivery, Kim. Hope everything goes smoothly. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy stitching. Keep making progress. Be safe. We'll see where we're at in a few days with this. Of course, I'll probably do something different on Sunday. We'll try and do something with a bit more color on that day. So have a great day, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.